Hello, I'm Susie. And I'm Ryan. And we are the founders of the global award-winning show band. Aston Band. We are a husband and wife team and we thought it might be nice for you guys to get to know us a little better. We hope you enjoy. And here we are, live, again. Sweating. Oh, it's warm today, guys. Uh, well, go on. I was going to say, for those of you who don't know, we are in Barbados, um, hence the shirt. It's a holiday stroke gig that we're doing, uh, and it's so incredibly hot. So if we come across a little bit clammy on camera, <laughs> you know why. You're talking about me? I mean, I'm I, talking... <laughs> I've given up on trying to look presentable because it is so unbelievably warm i've just stepped out of the shower we're going for lunch at the sea shed in barbados today meeting our yep. friends we've got our beach gear on i've got my bikini my bikini on on camera look at me mm. something for the dads uh, <laughs> giving them what they want to huh? uh. so yeah excuse the hair and the, the the overall sweatiness but it is a working holiday we have got a gig um that is in a Few days time, of days time, of days and time. our gang are currently on the plane in the sky yeah. on their way from Heathrow to Barbados, and we can't wait to see them all yeah, later. Awesome. Although after lunch, are we going to be still standing? Probably not, because it is when tonight Today? we'll oh. be in bed at eight, as per usual. We our can't hack the pace. Our plan was just to keep smashing out these podcasts, but the truth is, we're just drunk most of the time, so. <laughs> <laughs> we come back from uh, we come back from a nice night out. We've had a couple of rum punch. We've had a couple of glasses of um, whispering angel. Uh, yeah, it seems to be popular this trip. And then we're it? like, shall we do? I, and I'm like, I can't do one because I don't even know how to switch this machine on here. How so, do these buttons work? Yeah, so, but, but um, now we're sober, so here we are. Yeah, <laughs> and without it being too much of a holiday vlog, so to speak, we have done some really nice things, Susan, haven't we? Yeah. What do you mean here? Yeah, here. Yeah. 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 Before we talk shop, I thought maybe we could just, it's the Barbados Diaries after all. Sure. Um, one of the things we, we did was went to the Lone Star, which apparently is the place to go. And that is where our gig is. So we went there for uh, some lunch, which turned into a full day, actually, didn't it? Yeah. I mean... Do you want to talk about it? Do you remember it? <laughs> I do remember it. I remember it well. No, but so we, I think we said on the last podcast that we, uh, the Lone Star had been hit by a storm, basically. Um, I think it was may maybe uh, end of summer, August, September time. Uh, don't quote me on that. But uh, they were just about to open and we didn't know whether they were going to be open in time. They would definitely be open in time for the wedding, but they are officially open now. So if anyone is in Barbados right now, get yourself to the Lone Star because it was gorgeous. Yeah. Delicious food, fabulous cocktails, They've great wine. They've been working so hard to put so it together. So hard. Uh, we went for a quick site visit and uh, the owners were there and they were hands-on. Hands-on. Everyone grafting. That. Everyone trying their best to get it open as soon as possible. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And even though we've got nothing to compare it to, a couple of people we were with had been there before just said it looked fabulous. Yeah, and it was very impressive. So well done, Lone Star. Well done, Lone Star. We'll see you on Saturday. See We're going to rock the joint. Um, and then yesterday, uh, we've, I'm sure we've done some other stuff as well, but one thing that we did do yesterday was went... Uh, Fishing. fishing. Yeah. Look at me fishing. Yeah. Who'd have good. thought it? Yeah. Did we catch anything? No. We did. We caught one fish just as we oh, got in yeah. and, and the guys were like, you're definitely going to catch some fish. And we were like, oh, yeah. it's amazing. They'd been out all morning. We, we went out in the afternoon. They'd been out all morning. When we arrived, they were like, oh, we've had such a great morning. You guys are going to have so much fun. And we were all excited and pretty much blanked. That's uh, that's fisherman term for fishing lingo. Zero. Yeah. No, we did lingo. got we did got we got one fish, and uh, we were like, oh my god, we hadn't even like left the port, and we were like catching fish. This is gonna be good, but no, it was. Uh, yeah. I, I, to fruitless. Be, to be honest, I was I had a really good day. I did. Uh, so did the kids. It was amazing, and I was just so happy we didn't end up with seasickness because that can be a game changer and i can be quite yeah. seasicky can't did, i did, were you okay i was totally fine yeah oh. i think it may i don't know maybe we've done some like cruisy kind of gigs and maybe we've maybe oof, we've got our sea legs that maybe could be it. uh i had a little wobble for a second i thought oh here we go this could go bad because um yeah <laughs> i for, just thought of another wobble that you had yeah oh i oh, gotta tell you this as well <laughs> pretty so, wobbly yeah we um <laughs> <laughs> we 
We did a four hours fishing <laughs> uh, and then we didn't catch anything. And we, re- fair dues to the guys, they really tried their best. They took us really out to deep water, which they weren't going to. Double Mario, they're both yeah, called Mario. Both called Mario, shout out to the guys. Uh, and then they were like, let's go snorkeling instead. We were like, oh yeah, cool, man. Uh, so we went and docked at... Um, Carlisle Bay, I think it is. Carlisle Bay, beautiful. There's some Gorgeous. shipwrecks there. So it's pretty shallow water. You know, I say shallow, you can't stand up in it. It's, it's pretty deep. Uh, and they were like, do you want to use our stuff? And, and we were like, uh, yeah. It, and it all came on a bit fast, didn't it? It was all like, we're going For snorkeling. Yeah. yeah. And then before you know it, I was in flippers and... Uh, snorkel mask. Snorkel mask. And he was like, do you need... Um, <laughs> do you need a life jacket? And, and he was like, you guys don't need a life jacket. And we were like, don't we? Okay, no, of course we don't. And then, and before we knew You're it... You're a man or mouse. We were in. The kid, <laughs> so the kids were there with their life jacket. And they were just plodding along, just chilling out, looking at all the things. I went in. First thing I did was lost a flipper. So I was there <laughs> now with a flipper. Flapping <laughs> in his flippers. One flipper. Flipper. And then I thought... I'm pretty fit at the moment, I would say. I've been working hard in the gym, doing my, uh, getting my rounds in. And um, I, I reckon it took about 30 seconds and I was blowing like real bad. And then I had my, <laughs> my snorkel. I thought, I know what I need to do. I just need to start looking at these fish. And I put my face in the water. The tube <laughs> filled up with water. My glasses filled up with water. And then I lost <laughs> my other flipper. So I was just like kind of stranded. <laughs> and then Suze was like, are you okay? I was like, I, I, I mean, I was trying to talk through the... He looked a little bit drowny, but I, I was enjoying myself, so I just left him. She says, swim back to the boat. I just looked back, the boat was about a mile away. I was like, I'm in a pickle, yeah. This could be it. Meanwhile, the kids were just like, do, 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 do. Don't panic. And then embarrassingly... Um, Mario had to give us a noodle. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want a noodle? I was like, nah. He was like, yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> and then I got a noodle and they were great, actually. It made yeah. it much easier. So The noodle, uh, yeah, changed the game. It really did. So luckily but, yeah. we haven't lost him. He's still here. Still here, but I definitely had a little moment. I, this is it, but at least I'll go out. In style. I was pretty much, I was this, this close to fish food. <laughs> oh. Shipwrecked. Yeah. Those shipwrecks were great, actually. We Googled them afterwards. I think they're, they're man-made shipwrecks, though, because I was like, oh, my God, this is like the little mermaid. How long have these shipwrecks been here? Yeah. They must have been here for thousands of years. And yeah, no. 1984. Yeah, I think they plonked them in there yeah, just to just get to the create, coral. Yeah, it was good, though. Really Very good. Good. Really I good. I loved it. And I'm normally a bit scared of being in the sea because, I don't know, I would, I would never be that deep in the sea if I was swimming from the shore, but... Just felt lovely, didn't it? Yeah. Felt peaceful. I felt tranquil. Maybe yeah. that's my new vibe. I'll just uh, probably just become a snorkeler or something. Yeah, but, but that's that's kind of why we've uh, been able to do a podcast today because we didn't go out last night. Yeah, we were sensible. Uh, so we don't feel too bad today. <laughs> and here I feel we are. it is so hot today, though. I can't like. Maybe we should have opened this window actually. Anyway, it's so hot um, and just gorgeous, and I'm really excited to see the guys later. I'm really excited to go for lunch in a moment with our friends, which will be boozy and we can't help it because we're on holiday. We have done some work though. We've been catching up on a few emails and whatnot, keeping things ticking over. So uh, yeah, it's yeah. all going well. So I, I suppose uh, we should probably reflect on um, on the odd gig that we did this year. I know we keep saying, oh, we've been busy, but it has been off the hook busy. Um, yeah. And... Is it, is it off the hook or off the chart? Off the chart. I mean, either or. We're, we're so cool, aren't we? Yeah. Down with the kids. Charting. On the DL. On Hooky. the LD. The low down or the down low? L- downloads. <laughs> down the low, low down. <laughs> I don't know. We're losing them here, so yeah. was, All right. <laughs> so, uh, and I said, yeah, I, I think about some of the gigs we've done. And as I was setting up for this, I really applied myself. <laughs> and I cannot think of one gig. So, with that in mind, no, we did. We promised weather chat, didn't we? And I know they'll all be dying. It's really hot weather chat. Oh, weather no, chat no, no, on the gigs. Yeah. Really. So, but we we looked back at when we did our last podcast, and it, I think it was a friggin' year ago, which uh, is uh, scandalous. I did, che- I did check, and it was October of last year. Whoa. So that's uh, God, that where's that time gone? Speaks volumes, doesn't so, it? So, uh, yeah. Let's have you got? Some... Have you got a favourite gig? That's a good one. I know. Look, it's like picking a child, isn't it? Have you got a favourite gig from this last? <sighs> Right. Almost 12 months. 
I mean, that's the... impossible. What? Oh, are, okay. Like, I can't Have believe you just asked. Did you see my evils I've just given him then? I'm like, how can I pick a favourite? Um, I'll tell you what, though. Genuinely, without sounding like mm, cheesy, uh, for better or want of a word, I, I, I love seeing people have a good time on the dance floor, wherever we are. And, and without fail, we get that happening. But shall I tell you a favourite comment that I had the other day? And it was really fabulous. Before because you tell this... me, it, was I on the gig as well? Um, no. Cool. <laughs> you Fi- were, you fire were, away. You were there. It was, again, it was one of these um, very intimate venues and... Um, they didn't, they, there was no space for drums. You know where I'm talking about? Dormy House, I Dormy do. House, yes. shout out to Dormy House. It's fabulous, yeah, like a, a little boutique hotel. It's really low ceilings and really small. And it was almost like doing a gig in a living room because, and they hadn't really had uh, many bands there before, I don't think, or if they do, they don't have a party band like us. So we came up with a, a solution for the client that was brilliant. It really, really worked. And the comment that the client said to me, there was a slightly older couple, um, and they said that we made the oldies young again. And didn't it feel like a frigging rave in there? And, and it, there was like some slightly older people. I mean, that's, is that offensive? No, it's not. No, they, they, that was their, their they feedback. Because yeah. um, everyone was very young at heart. And um, that, that, I thought that was really nice because... I don't know. It really felt like that when we were there. Like when I was looking around, watching everyone on the dance floor, I was thinking, this is fun. Like, you know, even us, we don't go oh. out, do we? We only go out to work. So yeah, this to- was the one where uh, Out of the Blue Seals started <gasps> a conga. And uh, oh, it really did yeah. get longer and longer. It and was longer. insane. And this place was tiny. So uh, uh. she just went out into one room, out to another, and then she went into a bar. And by then, it was like that. What's that? Um, Caterpillar game. Snake. <laughs> snake. It was like that. It was like snake. There was nowhere to go. Every single person at the party joined onto this conga. I hadn't planned a route. I just thought a couple of people would dive on. I, like, you know, it wasn't pre-planned. So then we ended up, rather than squash everyone and try and get back through the doorway where everyone was still coming, it was, it was becoming a bit of a disaster, wasn't it? I went out into the car park. So we all went outside into the car park, went round the room. It was like, me and one, we'd kept time. And came back in the right moment of the song. We were still going. It was just, it was really epic. Literally, the whole place joined this conga. I think um, I think if you start a conga, I think depending. And if you it, don't get on a conga, and I start a conga, who even are you? Yeah. I mean, come on. It's a, it's a good um, get on the conga. You know, it's a good. You can judge how well the party is going by how many people are prepared to jump on said conga. Yeah. Or does it just mean either you're up for a laugh or you're miserable? If you ever pass up a conga. You've got my opinion on you now. Get on the conga. Da, da, da. We don't do that song, but you know. Um, so some other favourites. I mean, we've been everywhere. It's been incredible. I really honestly can't say a favourite um, because we love all our couples. We get get to know the couple so well and the plan is so well and each venue is so different and fabulous and, you know, it's nice to be on holiday with our friends. I shouldn't say that, should I? No, we're not on holiday. We're not on holiday. But it feels like that because it doesn't feel like work. You know, when you do something in love, you never work a day in your life, guys. There we go. A little nugget for the day. So many takeaways from these podcasts. It's so <laughs> educational. The people just can't believe it. Um, but I, I want to talk about the weather because we, I know people are desperate for weather chat. And the Maldives, you mentioned the Maldives last time. Let's touch upon that. Go on. Yeah, we did the Maldives and... Uh, it basically rained for the, uh, in, well, while we were there, we were there, obviously, because of the time difference, we got a little bit early, so everyone can adjust. I think maybe we were there for three days uh, in our own private villa. Do we do love a villa. Oh, we love a villa. Aston Villa. Um, and, yeah, basically, it rained, it rained, it rained, which was unheard of. And it basically was going like this. It looked like it was going to rain. It was New Year's Eve on New Year's Eve, and they did not have a plan B. Because What's the plan B? Nothing. Not sure. So, actually, how we decided, there was a, there was a, there was a, it was pretty close to us not doing the gig whatsoever, and then the way they managed to sort it out was, there was a guy on holiday there, who was actually from Cardiff, fellow Welshman, he was a helicopter pilot, and he had a special app, it was, it trying must be. Trying to think be, of the names, so we can tag um, them. Wasn't, we will afterwards, and we'll tag them in yeah, it. Yeah, I'll try and remember. But, um, yeah, so on the morning of New Year's Eve, he just said, he looked at his special app, 
which must be for pilots. And he said, you're good to go. It's going to start raining at 12 o'clock in the, in the evening. So we just cracked on. It was on the beach, beautiful. We had a great night. It was in Raffles. We should mention it was in Raffles, Raffles. in the Maldives. Yeah, it was beautiful. Gorgeous. And, the um, second year we've done that, actually. Yeah, the, we did the last song, 12 o'clock. The uh, fireworks started and it began to rain, like on the dot. It wasn't super heavy rain, actually, no, was it? No, we no. were very lucky because lots of the other islands in the Maldives got completely rained. There was some disasters. Carnage. And, you know, you don't really have a... You should have a plan B, but it's the Maldives. You don't think it's going to rain. It was very unusual. Anyway, we were very lucky that we got to plow on and ours was a great success. But I'll tell you something. Some of them were, oof. I know the uh, remedy to not having a plan B. And that is to just crack on regardless. And one gig does. Oh my God. Ring, uh, spring to mind. Yeah. Uh, I, we, I wonder if we are talking about the same one actually. Well, Cro- Croatia? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're so in sync. Yeah. Uh, where, where, what, what was the name of that place? Okay, so this place, talking about favourite places. This might be my favourite gig of the year, by the okay. way. Okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Controversial. Yeah. The, the, the location particularly was absolutely spectacular, wasn't it? It was Havar Island in Croatia. So you fly into Split, you get a little ferry across to the island, and Havar is it's just gorgeous, like old town vibes, and everything's like super chic and glamorous and gorgeous. Anyway... Go on, carry on the story, so. Um, so, yeah, we just, the the gig was on a rooftop, basically. Um, we did a few things during Palace the day. Palace Elizabeth One Hotel. of the things we could touch upon, I will talk about what we did during the day. There was a moment, it was like a, a, an old town, there was a town square, Cobble oh, yeah. Street, beautiful. And they were getting married in the church there. And they wanted people, they wanted us to lead them from the church. It was probably, I don't know, 200 yards or something from the church to the venue. So we decided to do um, like a Roman band kind of scenario. And it was absolutely amazing. As soon as they came out, we just started playing some songs and we just guided them down this street, this cobble street. But there were people out, normal people, having coffees and drinks and... and, um, you know, just do it, going about their daily business. We were getting filmed. The whole square erupted, And we actually got it? footage of that because I might be able to no, slot it, it in. No, it was an NDA oh, occasion. So, yeah, oh, so. yes. Okay. Because, um, yeah. But anyway, back to the gig. Yeah. <laughs> so the gig was on the rooftop. We did a few things during the day. Then it, we were just like warming up, ready for the party. And the planner came over and said, "We've. it looks like it's going to rain. It's And it's really going to rain. And it looks like it's going to happen just as you're about to go on stage. Um, it actually came just before that, didn't it? And the heavens, it had been it had been cracking the flags all day. The heavens absolutely opened on this place just as they were serving the mains. Mm. These guys were, I mean, without breaking an NDA, he was a hockey player. And they had all hockey players there, which I can imagine if it's anything like, rugby players or football players, you know, th- these guys are <laughs> animals. <laughs> anyway, yeah. the heavens opened. They'd just gone naked. <laughs> Everyone was just dancing in the rain. Yeah. Like, it was tipping down. When I mean a bit of rain, it was absolutely torrential rain. They just took all their clothes off. They got tequila shots. Yeah. And everyone just danced in the rain. And yeah. it was just so vibrant and so fun. And I've never seen anything like it. Not one person moaned. Not one person. The bride was didn't care like they were just Honestly. absolutely and what a spectacular moment and that's another thing like these things can't be held so no. just friggin roll with it i mean i did i, oh, whip, I was amazing i whipped my slacks off i was straight he in was there. in there yeah like yeah belly sliding yeah. across the tape no he wasn't <laughs> uh, we were just looking in awe thinking these guys are incredible and then the party did not stop from there and in oh it's amazing uh, it was just it was incredible and what a magical moment like the rain didn't spoil it it made it so Oh, another Croatia one, talking about that. So oh. recently we did a gig in um, Dubrovnik and the planner had to change the whole wedding from the Saturday oh. to the Sunday because of the weather. So the weather was going to be bad again and um, the client just wanted to swap days for the wedding. So not only did we have to rally round and round all our gang up, which was hard enough and doable, but she had to do the catering, 
the you know decor, the venue, which was private hire. I think they filmed Game of Thrones there, a big castle in Dubrovnik. Mad respect Fort, to the um, castle. to the uh, wedding planners. 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 It's just uh, you, you know, guys. Oof, I'm, I mean, it's all good when it's going well. When it's going well, but when it's not, you really need those people that are experts to help you and like so we, we actually work. we actually lost a couple of band members because they couldn't stay the extra day yeah uh they lost about 10 percent of the guests because they couldn't stay the extra day yeah but they just went for it the extra day and um that's a that's again. a tough call isn't it oh. imagine that go right do we do we change it or don't we oh yeah. who's gonna do it and imagine if it, it was, rains again on the second it day. was incredible though wasn't it oh, like everything happens for a reason it was incredible and the but venue yeah. where what was the name a of that fort, place fort Lawrence or Apparently something they, along they f- those lines. They filmed a lot of uh, Game, of, Game Thrones. of Thrones there. And there was 400 steps to get up into the castle. And uh, all of the gear had to be carried up. There was men carrying couches up the stairs, wasn't there? You know, we were right. We'd just rock up with a guitar and a saxophone and all our stuff's already there when we get yeah. there. <gasps> Saws about that. Whoa. But it was great, wasn't it? Oh, another yeah. one, Capri. We went to Capri. We got stuck in Naples. Um, thankfully, we flew in the day before. There's another nugget if you're doing your destination weddings. Try and fly in the day before. It's not always possible if it's busy, but um, it avoids all of these kind of things. So the ferry, the wind was so bad uh, getting across from Naples to Capri that all the ferries were called off and we had to get the ferry on the morning of the gig, which was fine because we were there the night before. But um, weather has been a funny old thing. What, what was I there on that one? Because I have no recollection. No, you were not on that one. You it's were good. in the UK. I haven't lost the old marbles just yet. No, well, mm. yeah, <laughs> too bad. Um, but yeah, any other weather stories? Because I can't think of any now. But yeah, the weather has been funny across Europe, and, and actually, the UK. The summer was a washout, yeah. really. But every UK gig we've done, where it's meant to be yeah. sunny, it's we been sunny. Out. So yeah, we've lucked out. Yeah, it's, it's been, been great, good. hasn't it? It's been good. Um, How uh, are we doing for time here? I don't want to bore people. We've no. got a lunch to get to. Yeah, okay. Uh, I was just looking at how tanned you are and then looking at me. Thinking, you, you do look quite tanned, I think. You don't get a chance to sit in the sun really when you've got children, do you? So, And I've normally got fake tan. I mean, that is a ta- I mean, that is a tan for me. Normally pale blue. Yeah, Actually, look you do that. look really brown. Look Thanks, at him. Love. Thanks, love. So you're not doing bad. But yeah, with, with the kids, you don't really get much chance to... If I go in the pool and try and have a float on a floaty, I'm getting tipped off every two seconds. If I sit on a sunbed, it's mum, mum, mum. <laughs> Has anyone seen Summer Heights High? Oh, don't even go into oh, that. Not now. I mean, not if you now. haven't, check it out. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Mom, I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> Chris Mano, that's for you. Uh, so what are we going to do next? Uh, uh, the, we're going to try and do one more of these before everyone arrives. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to hopefully... Do a post gig one. Do a post gig. And then hopefully get one of the gang on or yeah, a couple of the gang. Something like that. But again, we're not promising anything because we are on holiday. and We know. are promising. Come on, let's promise. Let's be accountable. And also, can I just do something else? Go on. Go on. Looks like you want to say something. I don't want to say anything. I want to hear what you got to say. Um, we, we mentioned Caroline in the last one. And we're going for lunch today with Paul, Vicky, Paul the other Paul. Yeah. All legends. All legends. Ha, I Lily, mean, really though, Charlie. How lovely are they? <laughs> really, I know. Honestly, yeah, we've been very lucky, and we've got our other friends come in as well. God, what a holiday, love! It's great, isn't it? Huh? Okay. Oh uh, 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 yeah, making noise there. on our Get that off drum. There. Okay, should we wrap this up then? I think we might be done for today. I think so because it's, it's time weather. for a. Yeah, we've talked about some of the gigs. I, 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 again, I, I'm going to apply myself and I'm going to come up with some gigs that I want to talk about. Yeah, and I've just remembered we haven't mentioned Sienna and Claudia. And they'll tell me off if we don't. Okay. So. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> okay, I guess on that, on that note. We're off. We're off. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you in a couple of days. Yeah, we'll see you um, yeah, in a couple of days. Well, I'll, I'll be more tanned, if anything. I'll work Sorry. on the legs, guys, because honestly, pretty bad. <laughs> okay, thanks, guys. See you Our soon. Better Stories, episode two. See you later. Bye.